all praises to Howard Barsham, Yahweh Shai, Barsham Bakar Kadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam to the elected the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson here on how a lot of our women are demons, man, right? And how pretty much, pretty much, man, they will try and use any weapon against you, right? They'll use Esau, right? And they'll use demonic two third sons of Bilal, man. They'll, they'll use like a wicked, grimy hood hood guy, a wicked grimy street guy, to try and do her bidding as well. So whatever whatever man she can throw at another at another man, right? She'll use it, man. And you're gonna see that in this video, right? And if you if you look at how this guy in, right now on the screen is holding that stick, he really wishes that that was an assault rifle, man. That, that, that damn demon, man. Right, he really wishes that that was a gun. He's aiming to stick at him like it's a gun, right? And really, if he had a gun, he would have wanted to try and blow people's heads off, man. But let me play this video. He's saying the line about the Bible. He's saying that y'all don't know nothing about no peace, right? As if the, and she's saying that the line about the Bible. If, but if she read the Bible, she'd know that there's different times for everything on earth, right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse eight. In fact, let me go. Let me go straight up a second. One second. Ecclesiastes chapter Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse one. To everything there is a season. And a time to every purpose under the heaven, right? Jump down to verse 8. A time of love. A t excuse me. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So there's a time for both things. But she's there asking for a time of peace, right? Yet it's the whole reason why she's writing is because some Edomite, right, let loose. That's the whole reason why she's writing in the first place, screaming her mouth on that speakerphone, man. Because some Edom might let loose on on on, on Israelites, man. But she's there talking talking about peace. But really, like women always do anyway. Women just love times of women just love times of um niceties. But they're not ever the ones that protect it or bring it forth. Yeah, they're always the first one to be running their mouth though. And you're gonna see you're gonna see how this woman's a demon anyway as I start playing this video more. Watch. <laughs> Right, she said she she caught in another lie again. The but she said that the Bible says, "Don't don't tell you to hate nobody." All right, but the Bible says, "Hate the evil." Let's get it. Here we go. Amos chapter five and verse eighteen. Excuse me, Amos chapter five and verse fifteen. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gates. It may be that Yahweh of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph, which is just talking about us, the Israelites. Right? It's just another way of saying this to Israelites, man. But she's been caught in two lies now. She's saying that it don't tell us to hate nobody. Now, to give balance, right, it just shows that some women of our nation are not are not demonic like that, man. So you got this woman over here on the left side of the screen that she's saying, you see this, y'all are saying black lives matter. But then you look at how you're acting, and she's right, man. They're trying to, they're like, that whole black lives matter thing anyway is a scam anyway, man. Right? It's a scam. And and the main people that it brings forth are wicked women that are, that are alphabet doctrine and wicked men. That are also alphabet doctrine. So how can some black, how come some so-called lives that are black get made, which really that is bringing forth black lives, plagued minds, darkened, right? Following after some wicked doctrine that doesn't even bring forth people of our nation. And that's why, like, one thing I'm gonna say right now is that's why if every single Israelite woman got destroyed, 
it would be it would it, it wouldn't necessarily even be a bad thing, man. If every single Israelite woman got destroyed, it wouldn't even necessarily be a bad thing, and people can get sour. Or they want to say, oh, how is he going to say that? How is he going to say that? But then there'd be no people of our nation. That's wrong, right? Because the Israelites could make, could remake the, um, we don't even need to use the so-called white women. The Israelites could remake the whole of our nation using Chinese women or using Indian women or using Ethiopian women, using any other woman. We could remake the whole nation of Israel. Just to prove that point, there was a time in the Bible where every single woman of the tribe of Benjamin was completely destroyed. There was none left of the whole nation of Benjamin. All of them were dead. And there was only like 700 men left of the nation of Benjamin. But does the nation of Benjamin still exist right now today? Yes, it does. Because they're mentioned in Revelation, the seventh chapter, which is a future prophecy. And so does every other tribe still exist as well. So women trying to go on like, they're, they're so important to the nation and not men. And that's why they need to humble themselves. So if men so choose, they could just cast them away from the from the nation, and and join them, try and remake the nation using other women, other women, and that's that could be, could be what men could do in the in the kingdom to come. We could just say, okay, every single one of our women are being demons, which, like I'm showing in this video, every single one of our women are not being demons. But there's this one woman here, she's she's trying to say why are you acting like this, the woman on the left, but then the woman on the right, and some other women that you're gonna see in this video, are just screaming their mouths, yelling. Like some WWE WWE characters, but then try and change it up again. I know a situation to try and get her will fulfilled, man. Watch. And the real reason why these people are screaming and saying all of this stuff is because you already know that they've watched videos on the internet, right? They've watched videos on the internet. They didn't like the doctrine because they hate Yahweh Shai, right? So then they use they use the fact that their IUIC is there right now as an excuse to say, why are you doing it like that? Why are you doing it like that? You should come and join into us as if and so talking about some black community. But in the so-called black community, as these people want to want to call it, there's not even no rules, man. There's not no rules, and everyone says keep it real, right? But then if a guy decides that he doesn't want to listen to rap music and he wants to play a harp. They'll try and say, man, he lame. He's a lame ass nigga. He lame. They'll try and say, oh, he's weak, man. Yo, he's square, man. Yo, he's a pussy. Oh, man. Like, he's he, man. He's soft, man. Because he doesn't want to listen. He might not listen. Want to listen to Easy E and NWA, or he might not want to listen to Pop Smoke, or he might not want to listen to whoever the newest rapper clown with skit or colors hair is. He might want to play a piano, but they'll say, oh, he's lame. And then if he, if he ends up then becoming successful playing that piano or successful playing that musical instrument, now all of a sudden all of these so-called black women are going to try and be circling around him, talking about, mm, mm, girl, and all this bullshit, right? But when he was when he was just playing the piano and he was a young young man, they was, they was trying to go to the guy that's got tattoo arm sleeves, that's rapping, that's smacking up people around the area, and and sticking them and, and robbing them with knives or robbing them with guns. They was trying to go to him. There's a whole lot of hypocrisy in the, in that so-called black community thing, man. The men, the men, the men try and act like they're so righteous and that among there, but then they'll happily sleep with their brother's wife though. They'll happily sleep with their best friend's woman, and their best friend's woman will happily sleep with them. Because there ain't no rules, man. There's not no code that everyone can say this is how the so-called black community is supposed to live. But there is a code with how we can say that this is how Israelites are supposed to live. And you even had that Charleston white guy that he was saying, oh, have you ever seen any of the Hebrew Israelites being real players and stuff like that and being this, being that? And then the people that he was saying it to was like, no. So that's a proof and a confirmation that Israelites do not act the same way as everybody else because we protect, we... We um become dead to this world, man. We ain't trying to be all up in the all up in the limelight of this world, like these people. Let me carry on playing, man. And these guys always want to be black, man. They always want to be black so bad. It's disgusting, man. They just want to say that they're black. They want to say that they're so called. They want to say that the Bible. Is the white man's book, 
right? This is how they'll say it. But then they call themselves black. But who called them that? Wasn't it Johann Blumenbach in, in, that was born in 19, 1752, right? And he died in the 1800s. Wasn't it him that said that started the classific classifications of race based on skin tone and based off like other things rather than based on what your tribe is or what your national or what your nation of your father is? Wasn't that him? And they're, they're sticking with that. We are supposed to hate our enemy. The same, you're telling us to hate him. Yeah, we are supposed to hate our enemy. And we're not supposed to trust him neither. Sirach chapter, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, though he humble himself and go off crouching. Yet take good heed, heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be as if thou hadest, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadest wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust is not altogether being wiped away. And that's with the Edomite, man. Right? He might humble himself a bit, but his wickedness is still there, man. He's just, he's, he's lying dormant until that time he can get to fulfill what he's, he's in his wicked heart, man. Let me carry on. Uh, so you just saw her there. You just saw her there screaming and running her mouth in front of them, right? You just saw her screaming and running in her mouth. That didn't work because they didn't back down, right? So then here's what she goes and does for for um for her next plan, right? And that's why brothers get on women so much and burn them out, man, because they're wicked demons, man, right? She tried to do the yelling, yelling so-called black woman, Laquisha spirit, right? All up in their face, calling them names, right? That didn't work. So then this is what she tries now. Now she runs. Now she runs to her father, the devil, Daddy Esau, right? She tried to. She tried to do it herself. That flopped, right? So now she goes to the police. They down there. They down at the other end. They harassing everybody. And why the white people? They harassing everybody. Yet she was just in their face, screaming her lungs out, with a with a with a speakerphone in their face. Let's go back. Let me just timestamp that. Two, three. 253, let's go back to what she was just doing. But they're harassing everybody, apparently. Is that not her? Is that not her? Is that not her? On the right-hand side of the screen. But she's saying that they're harassing people, but she's there in their face, screaming down the speakerphone, man. And the beautiful thing that I've seen with this year is that, like I said, that there's some women that ain't on that, ain't on that BS, man, right? You can see that people are bunning her out, man. She ran, well, I don't even know if these people are, if these people are women, all of these that are bunning her out, but let's read some. It says she ran to the same people who is beating their asses. Unbelievable, that's true, right? You've got this one here. Let's see what this is. So happy to see God waking up our people and seeing the hypocrisy in those around us. It's time to wake up and see those of us who really care. It's time to come out of the church and get back to the real God of our people, which is true, right? And that's a woman. So some women, like I said before, are not are not wicked. But if God was to destroy every single woman of the nation, the nation would still have will still exist. But if God was to destroy every single man out of the nation, then the nation would not exist. And the point again to prove this is that there was a time where every single woman of the tribe of Benjamin was destroyed. So that gets rid of the whole belief that you have to have an Israelite father and mother. To have a um, to have an Israelite child, that's not true, right? People can get soft and try and play to women's emotions all they want, thinking that that's gonna get them somewhere, but it's not gonna get them nowhere anyway, because women don't even like men that are all up in all up in their frame anyway. This is Ecclesiastes chapter twenty-five and verse sixteen. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. And imagine if you was in the house with this woman, man. Boy, imagine being in the house with her. Hell, she's probably that loud without the, without the damn speaker for man. In fact, we're going to see that she is. We're going to see it right now. They down at the other end, they harassing everybody. And why the white people walking by, they telling us to hate them. What kind of peace is that? Yeah, please get them. They 
gotta go. Some of us is grieving. We've been grieving all week. There goes the demonic, the demonic Evite hand claps. Let's go. And some of us still ain't yep, there. That's one. Books. We don't want to hear this garbage. We don't want to hear it. Don't that's tell me something from about 1300 years ago. I don't care about that. I'm talking about. You see? You see? That's what it really is. They just don't care about the Bible, man. They just hate God, really. It's got nothing to do with these brothers' teaching. It's to do with, really, that they just hate hate God. And, really, they'd want to try and kill them men if they had the chance, man. Right? Anyone that's speaking about the Bible, they'd really rather just kill them. Let's get this. Let's get this. is because Yahweh Shai called these people out once upon a time, the Israelites, for their BS. And look at what they listen to what they said to him. This is John chapter 7 and verse 19. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go you about to kill me? So he was putting them on the spot, man. He was like, You've got a law, right? And you ain't keeping it. So what's, what's your problem with me? Why are you trying to kill me? Verse 20. The people answered and said, Thou hast the de thou hast the devil who go off about to kill thee, which there was going about to kill him. But they had a problem with being called out for their BS, man. They had a problem. Did they not kill him? Did they not cause him to die? Did they not say we have no, we have no, we have no leader or we have no king but Caesar? Didn't they say let his blood be on us and on our children? And it has been ever since, man. And that's why people are getting murked off in the street, man. Let me carry on. Let me carry on in this. What happened right now? I'm talking about ten people innocent over there. My family and the only. But she don't even know why the ten people so called innocent. And she wants to say. Ended up getting killed, man. It's to try and wake people up to who the enemy is. But these people ain't going to get it until, you know, they've been blinded, man. They've been blinded to be able to see what the truth is. And she'd rather run to Esau just to, to try and get these men out of, out of a situation at one time. But then another time, she'll be trying to riot for police brutality. Because she even says that they even like go on. She even like stands by a guy that starts talking about, oh, I was there when George Floyd, I was there when this, I was there when that person happened, this person, and this person, right? And then she's there, there standing right behind him, but at the same time, she's trying to use the police to get rid of those men off the street, and this man don't necessarily know that she did that, because I don't see him in the video here to see that she did that, but she snuck off to the police to try and get them to try and do something, right? And then at the same time, goes and stands by a next man that's complaining about the police killings, but then she's there trying to get the police to go and remove people. But they know that when the police get involved when, with a so-called black man doing anything, with an Israelite man doing anything, that there's a chance that that police officer can kill him. And really, that's what she wanted to happen. We're grieving. So we don't want to hear this garbage. They ain't trying to bring us together. They ain't trying to bring us together. They're trying to cause us to hate all y'all. We ain't supposed to be brought together. Yeah, I want us to be separate. But they, that's, that's, that's all it is, man. They really just want to be joined on to Esau, man. That's what they really, their real real heart's desire is. But listen to this. Because even if they was to join on to Esau and Esau was to accept him, it still ain't going to mean that they're not going to, that Edomites are not going to receive their judgment written. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 21, though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So even if they was to try and join on, and Esau was to accept Israelites and make them be in a, in a kingdom with Esau and be treated so-called equal. Which that's a sickness in itself. And Israelite being treated equal with everyone, anyone. Right? And Israelites supposed to get treated better than every single person on the earth. Because we're, the God, we're, the God, we're God's chosen people. So what the hell would it look like us being treated equal, man? That's wickedness for us to be treated equal. We're supposed to be treated better. Let me carry on. But your heart is red like mine. You got red blood just like me. You put a dog has red blood. I'm pretty sure a shark has red blood and a fish, a cat, a mouse, a lion has red blood. So what's that got to do with anything? Your pants on to take a shower just like I do. So I don't want to hear that hatred. You feel me? I don't want to hear that garbage. Did I? She don't want to hear hatred. But you can clearly see that there's nothing but hatred in her mind, man. Yeah, about to do a memorial. About to do a memorial. And we gotta hear this hate down here screaming. And they standing down here like they like they a gang. Standing all like this, like they gonna hit somebody. You see? They're standing all like this, like they're gonna hit somebody. Nobody over when she was just over there was standing like it was gonna hit no one. 
Nobody was doing that. They can and how, and the way you, the, them officers are standing, like they're in a defensive position as well because they see that this big overgrown demon is all up in their face yelling, like DMX. But that's the same community you talk about you with. You not with the community if you're in a stance like that. Pass out a rose. Huh? What the f yo? You know what? What the fuck would a rose do, man? And she mentions this pass out a rose shit loads of times. What the fuck's a rose gonna do if someone's been blown away with a gun? What's a what's passing out a rose gonna do, man? What's that gonna do? One of these kids. What's hugging hugging one of the kids gonna do if someone's getting blown away? Telling them what the telling them why these things are happening is gonna help them more than passing out a rose or hugging one of these kids. You ain't with no community. Get out of Neither are you, you demon. You ain't with no community neither. She ain't with the community either, man. And I wonder, like, this is the purpose of this lesson, man. How many, how many Israelite men all over the world have been have, are in prison or or dead because of demonic women like this, man? Right? That want to scream up in a man's face, and then they, when they go back and tell another man what happened, they always cut out what the B, the BS that they was doing, man. She was all up in their face screaming. Y'all lying about the Bible. Y'all lying about the Bible. He don't tell you to hate nobody. Being a big, overgrown, someone's auntie looking demon, man. Just wicked, man. And then people try and get sour when men don't want to deal with them. Where, like, what, man wants, what man wants to do with that? None. I'm telling you, and if y'all don't get them, see, and if y'all don't get them, demon. Trust me, we got some. Like, if let, let me play this muted man. She thinks she's some gangster, bro. She thinks she's like, <laughs> she thinks she's some G, bro. What the fuck's going on here, man? Let, let me mute this a second and just see her mannerisms as I play. You know what I mean? Just a demon, man. Our women are demons, man. And like I said before, not all, but the women that aren't should be bunning out women like this and letting it be known like some of the women are in this comment board, right? Like some of the women are in, their comment, in the comment board, man. Here's one. Let's see what this person says. Let's read it. That was hard to watch. Our people behave like they are living in the, in the 50s. The ignorance in the, in the defense of a system that has its foot on our neck is blinding, is blinding to them. Our people, our brothers, our, te our brothers' teachings, our brothers' teaching are awesome. And that man slash woman screaming at the police, well, she's just lost and don't know it. And that's right, man. And really, somebody like that should be cast away and rejected from the nation, man. Because she's doing way more harm than good. She's all up in their face screaming, ranting and raving. And if these cops was to go over there and hem these brothers up, twist their arm behind their back and putting them in some hold or some lock. She'd be there happy for it to happen, man. And, you, and you're going to see proof that she'd be like that. Because now, watch what happens when... um. I'm one second. You, and if y'all don't get them, trust me, we got some folk waiting to get them. See? We so she tried to go to, her, go, go to them and handle it herself and thought, did, did the usual so-called black woman screaming, ranting and raving up in the face. That didn't work. So then she went to the police. And then that didn't work. Or she's, she's not seeing that that's going to work. So then she's trying to get... She's trying to get um some other people to do it, man. We're trying not to be, we try not to be violent. I'm telling you, sir. Sir, we're trying not to. I'm telling you, sir. I'm telling you. We're trying all we know how. To keep Is it? Now she's crying, trying to play the victim. Now let me jump to the point, man, because I want to end the lesson quick. But here's another woman doing the same thing. They got to. Right? Another woman doing it again. But then they'll try and make out like they love, like they love our community, a so-called community. Like, listen to this. Watch this. You see? Go get him, go get him. So she didn't have a problem with this one man trying to walk up to fight, to fight at least 10 men. And if he would have got stomped into the ground, right, for trying to get all up in her face, then what? She would have been like, well, then she would have went to the police and tried to say that they just attacked him. But she was just telling him, go get him, go get him. 
And that's what I mean, man. That's the purpose of this lesson. A lot of these women are demons, man. And they're prepared to throw you into the fire, right? To send you as a toy soldier at whatever enemy they have. And then when you're dead and you're, do you're gone, then they'll use another clown to do it. And Apostle Gabar made a lesson on this, on this same thing, man. And that's what's inspired me to do this lesson. That these women are demons, man. They're more, they're more than happy to send you at, send you at whoever they want to send you at. In order to in order to defeat a person that's bothering them, and you heard her say, "I want them gone." Over over just a minute ago, and then when this don't work, she tries to play the victim as well, and tries to think that she can try and pretend to be feminine. There ain't nothing feminine about her, man. Ain't no man gonna jump up to really want to defend her on it. And I'm surprised that some of these clowns was even bothering to do be on that BS and be on the same demons that she was doing, man. And that's why I'm making this lesson because a lot of you men need to fix up, man. And to not be just jumping and diving and listening to what everyone, everyone says. Because a woman will get into an argument with a guy in the street, right? And then say, you ain't going to do shit. My friend, my baby daddy or my boyfriend or my husband will kill you. My brother will kill you. My dad will kill you. My uncle will kill you, right? And then call for that man to show up to these guys without, without knowing the true story. And then he'll end up getting killed. Like I remember when I was, when I remember before, a while back I saw one woman lie about a situation where she was hitting some men and this is in real life i've seen this and then she called her brother and her dad and they drove all the way from london to from birmingham to london to try and fight some guys man and that's a long two hour ass drive man they drove all the way that length to just try and fight somebody and then when they got there luckily for them they didn't do anything and they were smart and didn't do anything but she wanted them to try and harm them man but they had the smarts to not to not fight with some students over some BS. You see, she was just saying, go get him, go get him. But now she's saying that's your brother, ain't it? But like that's what I mean. And look how wide her back is, man. Looking like she's been doing bent over rows. Damn demon. And it's not about a woman's attractiveness because the woman on the left, she's not necessarily an attractive woman in my eyes, right? But she was humble, man. And she was saying, she's like, why, why he's doing this? And that's why in that time, she'll be more likely to receive salvation than this woman in the middle, man. Even though they pretty much look very similar. I think that's enough for that anyway, man. Like, the purpose of this lesson was that a lot of women are prepared to throw men into the flames in order to destroy whoever they've got a problem with, man. And that's why men need to fix up and stop listening to what some of these demonic women are saying, man, right? And to not give their strength over unto women, as the, as the scriptures say. And I'm going to end the lesson there, all praises to you, and also, Salakia, also a lot of our people just hate God, man, and they hate God's son, and that's why they do these things. All praises to you, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Makar, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elected nation of Israel, Shalom.